Hey gang, wasn't that cool? I'm sitting here at Charlotte International Airport waiting to pick up uh, some family. I got some family flying in from New York. And I'm super excited because it's my nephew. I was very close to my nephew. He's, um, gosh, he's probably 13 years younger than me. And he was my closest nephew and I got a lot of nieces and nephews because I have a big family. He was my closest nephew growing up. I used to babysit him. We used to hang out. He used to come stay at my house after I got married. and. Um, you know, we we're just, we just close. And he has a baby now. He's married. And his little girl, this is the first time I get to meet her. She's my great niece. And I've never met the little bugger, the little ginger. She's a little redhead. That's just cool watching those planes take off and come in. So that's what I'm going to do today is hang out with them and then my sister's coming in his mother because my niece lives down here she moved down here last year and so slowly but surely the whole crew's coming down and i keep threatening that if any more move down i'm moving to florida but oh there's another one Right out into the clouds they go. Kind of a miserable day. I see miserable. It's like low 60s and it's chilly feeling and it's cloudy because we got this hurricane, I guess, getting closer to us. I think that's what this is all about. We're supposed to be getting some weather related from it, like 40 mile an hour winds and several inches of rain. And obviously the closer you get to the coast, the more damage. I'm a little concerned about my property down there off grid acres, but we made it through the last hurricane okay and I'm hoping we get some more luck and, and those, again those trees are the things that are bothering me I hope I'm getting that on video so that's what we're gonna do. I'm real excited. I'm super close with my sister too. I have two sisters. One of them moved down here and I'm not very close with her at all. I've talked about her in the past and her political views and her world views. We just don't line up at all. But my other sister, love her to pieces. I love both my sisters, but I'm very close with my other sister. And so she'll be down for a few days. And hopefully we get a chance to hang out. We're doing a cookout, I think. and. You know some fun family stuff so that's nice I don't get a chance to hang out with family much ever since I moved away at least not the ones that I really am close with so I'll try to take some video along the way for the next day or two but I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna be doing as far as off-grid stuff I did go check out that house that I showed you all in the video saying future homestead for a second time and they just keep coming and going and I think we're going to make an offer. There's a couple questions left out there. And you guys asked some questions. What about water sources? It's on a well. It's on a septic. Um, it's 6.4, I think, 7 acres or 6.41 acres. It's uh, dated. I'm going to have to replace the windows. And just doing some preliminary uh, pricing for windows. We're talking anywhere. I think we have 20, we have 14 double windows. And I forget the name of the windows that crank out. It starts with a C. And... Um, I think the double windows we count twice. There's one going one way, one one going the other, and it looks like it's going to be anywhere between twelve and seventeen thousand dollars to replace all the windows in the house. And not all of them need to be replaced right away because the seals are only broken on about half of them. But I think if you're going to replace some of them, you should probably replace all of them. So that's that's a pricey that's a pricey um, thing to have to do. So. Also looking at appliances and some flooring and the fact that we have to tear down wallpaper and repaint. And I'm going to start sharpening the pencil and figuring out what that's going to cost. And I'm going to figure out what work I can do myself to save on labor. But I'm going to add the sweat equity back in there. And I think we're going to make an offer on that property. And I don't have high expectations that they're going to take it. But here's the deal on that property. The people that own it, apparently there's a pretty big age gap between the husband and the wife. The husband's like 80 or 82 years old. And I think they just want to get out of it. 
Now, in 2007, they bought it at the top of the market for 305, and that's what they have it listed as, but nothing's been updated in the house. In a very, very nice updated house in the same neighborhood, sold for 3345 back in May. And I mean, it was totally gutted and redone. So I'm gonna use that as a comp, and uh, it had an acre and a half less land, but it was just a beautiful house, and I would have bought that in a heartbeat or at least put in an offer on it. So we're gonna take it all into account. I'm not super um, sure that they're gonna accept the offer that we're gonna send their way, but I'm not gonna negotiate up. I'm gonna give them my offer and I might have a little bit of wiggle room, but I'm gonna lay out a case and say, look, here's the deal. I'm the bird in the hand. I got cash, I can close quickly, and I'm willing to move out here into the sticks with a family because we homeschool, because the school district is not great out that way, guys. So a young family, chances are they're not gonna move into a situation like that. And um, an older family, well, not even an older family, the people that bought this house bought it in 2007. This guy was in his 70s already. I can't imagine um, who would wanna buy a property like this in their 70s. It's a lot to take care of. And I think it requires uh, a younger, family or at least people younger so their potential target market is limited and I'm one of the few people I think that hits their potential target market and I got the cash and I got the desire to get this done so uh, his health is failing that might present an opportunity for me not that I'm excited about his health failing but you get what I'm saying might present a potential opportunity for me to get this at a decent price and I'm not necessarily looking to steal it but I am looking to get a deal guys I feel like I'm in the catbird seat so I'll keep you posted on that you know in addition to some of the upgrades that we would have to do to keep everyone in the house happy if you know what I mean because a lot of you guys said well you know you don't have to update that right away or do this right away that's true there's some things that can definitely wait but I got to replace the overhead garage door that's gonna be a couple of thousand bucks um, I have to um, there's a bunch of little things that have to be done and that's without even having an inspection report done. That's just, I can see, okay, that needs to be replaced. Bathrooms need to be, you know, um, uh, bathrooms need to be uh, gutted in some cases and, and everything replaced in there. Maybe some rewiring, moving some fixtures, that sort of thing. A lot of ceiling fans need to be replaced. That's all small stuff. The big stuff is the windows, uh, the overhead garage door and some of the floor coverings. And then of course, you know, labor intensive stuff uh, in the kitchen, that that's big. Countertops, that's big. Appliances, that's big. It's all going to add up. But in addition to that, I want to dig a pond. I want to put a nice pond out there. It doesn't have to be huge, maybe a quarter acre, something like that. And I'm going to have to put up fencing for livestock. That's expensive. And I want to put up solar panels. My goal isn't initially to go 100% off grid, but that is my longer term goal. I want to be, if not 100% off grid, I want to be grid tied to where I can just flip you know, switch a button and uh, pull a lever and I'm 100% off grid. So we'll see how that goes, but that's a long-term goal. And I'm figuring everything when you're talking solar and everything else, digging the pond, I could easily be talking six figures at that point. So I'm gonna sharpen my pencil and start figuring out what things are gonna cost me and go from there.